Hi, I'm Miles Jackson, CEO of Cole Clark Guitars. Let me tell you something about the history of Cole Clark. Brad Clark and Adam Cole started the company in 2001. In 2012, I moved from being a shareholder to, a, to the CEO of the company. Uh, it's been a great ride. It's a ride that continues today. Um, I just have a fantastic time getting up every morning and coming to work. Right now we make about 3,000 guitars a year and by the end of 2017 we should be on around about 4,000. We are now in 26 countries and domestic business is growing as well. A lot of people ask me, how long does it take to make a Cole Clark guitar? Well, with the attention to details and the features, it's pretty complicated. The best thing to do is to take one of our factory tours. If you're in Melbourne, book in for one, it's really worthwhile. The answer to the question is, the hands-on hours to make a guitar is about 18 to 20 hours, and sometimes longer depending on the features. However, from one end of the factory to the other, it takes somewhere between three to six weeks with various processes that have to happen. Naturally, it all starts with the raw timber coming into our factory. First, we put the timber into our large kiln, which is a slow drying kiln that runs at about 15 degrees. The timber might stay there for three to six weeks, maybe longer. When we get it down to about 12% moisture, we cut it into components. We then put it into a small drying kiln, which is about 30 degrees or more. Once the timber gets down to about 6% moisture, then we bring it out, let it come up to 8%, then it's ready to make guitars. From there, the raw timber goes into CNC machines and is cut into individual components. Let me talk about the construction of Cole Clark guitars because this is really interesting. We use a Spanish heel or a through neck method. Basically what we do is we glue a neck to a face. We then glue the sides into the neck. Uh, we glue the back onto the guitar so it all comes together in one hit. This is the way the Spanish have been doing it for 300 years. It's not something some crackpots in Melbourne have thought up. Once we've constructed the guitar, it goes up to final assembly. The binding gets done if it's a guitar that needs binding. The fretboard and nut gets put on, the holes for the pickup get done, and it's ready to go to paint shop. The next stage is set up. The bridge gets glued on, the frets get dressed and the nut cut with our Plex machine. Uh, the machine heads get screwed on, the bridge saddle is put on, the pickups are installed if the guitar has a pickup. When it comes to the Cole Clark pickup, our artists and we feel that this is the most natural sounding pickup on the planet. You absolutely need to plug one in and have a play. The hand built component of our guitar is very, very important to us. But when it comes to dressing the frets, cutting the nut, crowning the frets, we've decided to move away from that and we got ourselves a Plex machine. The Plex is a really interesting machine that we purchased in December of 2015. It gives you a really accurate fret dress. It scans the fret to within a 15 hundredth of a millimetre and then cuts and crowns the fret to within that tolerance. It means that our actions are able to have less buzz than they would if we were doing hand setups and they're very consistent. From the setup shop, the guitar goes down to the final stage, which is quality control and dispatch. Here, the guitar gets a thorough inspection. Any tags and sales materials added and the guitar gets a final clean before it's put into our really cool Cole Clark case. I hope you found our story interesting. I suggest if you've never played a Cole Clark, you get five minutes, you go into a store, you have a play of one, you hear what I'm talking about.